If you are just learning how to video edit, this technical tip might be for you. Today we are going to be working with the Luma key. And now I'm not an expert by any means, but I have been having a lot of fun with the Luma filter and, or the Luma key. And I just want to share a couple of little tips and tricks that I've learned uh, using this particular filter. Now as we read on that chalkboard, it is helpful to have high contrast areas of light and dark. That's why white text over a black background, I just started playing with this to kind of jazz up some uh, titles that I'm working with. And using the Luma travel mat, we can bring some video in to replace the white text. So I'm gonna show you how to use the Luma key to create something similar to this uh, later on in this tutorial. Another place where the Luma key is helpful is when you get a logo, whether it's a company logo, organizational logo, and it's over a white background. Sometimes you need to get that logo into your video quickly, and the Luma key can be very helpful in getting your logos into your movies. And finally, I'm going to show how the Luma filter was actually able to take out this white background so I could replace it with something that's a little bit more animated and graphical and create a t an entirely different look to my video. So let's get started. Okay, if you remember the first sample I showed you in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to replace simple white text. And in this case, I wanted to replace the word fire with actual moving video of a billowing fire. So I have my text loaded on the V1 track of the timeline. Next, I'm going to my browser window and I'm gonna find my clip of the fire that I wanna use. And I'm gonna bring that clip down to the V2 track just above the fire uh, text clip. Now you may notice once I bring this fire clip down into the second video track, we don't see the word fire anymore. Instead, we see a still shot of uh, the fire. And this is fine. Uh, we haven't done anything to it yet, so um, Final Cut is behaving as it would. It assumes we want to see the fire instead of what's underneath it, which is the text. Okay, so let's click on the fire clip and go up to the menu bar, up to Modify. We'll choose Composite Mode travel mat luma if we render this we will soon see the fire moving within the, the white text and we still have the, the nice black background which will be a great for my title page that i'm creating on a side note i do want to point out that there is another luma option to choose from in final cut under the effects tab and we're we're going to get to this in a second uh, this is an example of what my fire text would look like if I had picked that filter, which looks really cool, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. But I just wanted to throw it out there as an option that you might want to uh, toy around with. In this second example, I couldn't read the word as well as I could with the fire sample, so I raised the water clip up to the V3 track and then made a copy of the text clip, pasted that text clip into the V2 track and the only thing I changed was the size of the text and I maneuvered it in a way that created a little bit more definition to the letters kind of making it easier to read so similar to a drop shadow type of effect or outline. Our next example is logos so if you need a quick way to get rid of the white on a logo first let's bring down the video clip that you want running behind your logo to the V1 track in this case, I want the bubbling water on the V1 track. Next, bring the logo down to the V2 track. Now I'm going to get rid of the white by going up to the Effects tab, Video Filters, Key, Luma Key. In this case, the SPNN logo looks a little faded and dingy, so in order to correct that, I'm going to double click on the logo and open it up in the viewer. And then you want to click on the Filters tab and you're going to play with the threshold and tolerance levels in order to get um, your logo to look as best as it can and take out the white as much as possible. Okay, we're going to quickly whiz through the last sample. I'm going to bring down the orange funky animated background and I'm going to place this on my V1 track. 
Then on the V2 track, I'm going to bring down the video of the girl who is dancing in front of the white background. And finally, I'm going to apply the Luma Key filter to the video of the girl with the white background. And we should see it, the animated orangish background pop up in place of the white background. And then you want to click on the filters tab and we're going to adjust the tolerance and threshold to get as clean of a looking key as possible. So let's take a look at what the Luma traveling mat and Luma key filter can do for you in your next production. Funding for this program provided by And that's our tech tip for this month. Thank you for watching.